What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with two original Kanto starters. We got ourselves a Charizard and Venusaur Sun team for ranked regulation H. Now let's talk about Charizard first and then we'll move on to Venusaur. Now Charizard is rocking solar power as stability and on top of that, it's got the choice specs as items. So this thing is going to be doing insane amounts of damage. It's got fire terror type with fire pledge, heat wave, overheat, and air slash. So again, big time damage Pokemon. Cannot wait to use it. Just like fire pledge, we got grass pledge on Venus. We're pairing up both those moves to kind of create like a weird combo, make fire pledge do more damage and leave like a passive effect on the field, taking I think it's like one eighth of the opponent's HP for the next four turns. We might try that out in today's video, not too sure, but uh, Venusaur's got Chlorophyll, doubling its speed in the sunlight with the Focus Ash, with Sludge Bomb, Sleep Powder Protect, and obviously, like we already mentioned, Grass Pledge. Our sun setters for today's video are going to be Torkoal and Wimscott. Wimscott's got Prankster, Rocket Sunny Day, Torkoal's got that Drought with the Jack Pack and Overheat. A lot of sun going on on today's team. And then our final two Pokemon going to be our Trick Room combo. We got Indeedee with Imprisoned Trick Room so we can counter other Trick Room teams. Then we also have Ursaluna who's just one of the strongest Pokemon in Trick Room in the game at the moment. Guys, if you want to the scene for yourself, the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Charizard and Venusaur Sun theme. First match is on its way, and it seems like we're going up against like a half Trick Room, half non Trick Room squad. They got Galarian Slowbro, which I know is a Trick Room Pokemon. On top of that, they got Wimscott, who can set Tailwind. They got Volcarona, they got Comfy, they got Lucario, and last but not least, Annihilate, who's such a strong Pokemon. But one thing I do notice is they don't really have a way of taking out Sun, so I could just go like Torkoal Charizard and look to just get after it. Not bad for us, or I could go Wimscott just go Tailwind for Tailwind. That is probably more in our best interest, so honestly, let's just do that. Let's just go Charizard, Wimscott, we'll bring Venusaur in the back end, and then last but not least, if they want to pop Trick Room, do we bring Ursaluna, or do we just go Torkoal? I mean, Torkoal can do insane amount of damage. Let's be honest here, it can probably one-shot any other Pokemon. But let's just go in with the Torkoal. Well, it's because you do Torkoal. You got a Jack Pack, you got Overheat, Helping Hand, Body Press. Okay, or I can go Ursula. Or I could honestly just go in with this Ndidi. This Ndidi can do some damage. I'm all bad. That's actually high special attack. Yeah. 157 with Expanded Force. Get on over here. Get on over here, Ndidi. It's actually male Ndidi, so it's more of the damage and attacking rather than like support Trick Room. Because female Ndidi's usually do the, uh, the follow me Trick Room kind of plays, but... I'm liking the squad so far. I'm liking the squad. But, yo, I got a huge announcement. This Monday coming up, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, probably around there. I'm planning on releasing my first major video. It's big hint here. It Not even hint. Big spoiler. It is best competitive rain Pokemon, and it's inspired by Wolfie VGC. So, huge shout out to him. Um, it's like a top 10 video. It's a ranking video with, like, great video editors, and I'm super excited to be releasing it. And we definitely have more coming. So, stay tuned for that. Hopefully, you guys are excited. But best competitive rain Pokemon... It was an awesome video to make, so super excited to be bringing that to you guys. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, around then, Monday, coming out. But Annihilate Volcarona is going to be the lead here. Um, I could just pop Sunny Day. Now, do we think this is like Final Gambit? This could be Final Gambit, but I'm just going to go Sunny Day here. And I'm just going to rip a Heat Wave. I'm just going to rip a Heat Wave. Obviously, I could go into Fire Terror, but I think we're chilling here. But we're going to see probably a Fire Terror pop out from Annihilate. Is that a correct statement? Water, okay, I mean, does the same thing, resist fire moves. But I mean, Heat Wave still can chunk up some mean damage here. Sunny Day launches, get that popping. Show me Charizard's fast on the field. Please, thank you. It is, cool. So that launches, Volcarona down to 1 HP. Not even sashing? You're not even sashing? And I lose my Wimscott? You're not even sashed. You just live on 1 HP. Is that, is that how we're playing today? That's fine. So Annihilate, chances are ripping up into my Charizard. Charizard, soak this. Please and thank you. Nah, I'm dead. I'm alive. <laughs> I'm still alive. Cool, okay. I'm alive. All right. Honestly, this might be a great, a great time to set up Fire Grass Pledge. It's actually a great time. Unless you're just going to protect Volcarona. But you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to go Grass Pledge. And we're going to go Fire Pledge. I'm choosing the heat wave. You lucky. You are so lucky. You are so lucky. You are so lucky. I totally forgot we're choice. So we're gonna do that. We're just gonna go into a heat wave. He might just double protect and have solar power KO me. That'd be a smarter play. Yeah. You little booger. You little booger. 
All right, it was solar protect. All right, so all we need is one heat wave land, and we're in a really good position. Did I just jinx myself? Did I just jinx myself? Do not miss. You better hit this full on a Charizard. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I asked. I asked for simple things. I don't ask for much around here. I don't ask for much. I ask for the simple things. So, Charizard's going to die at the solar power. I don't mind that. I get to bring out my lovely little Indeedy. Male Indeedy. Ready to drop expanding forces. For days. For days. It speed's pretty decent. Wimscott's going to come out here and probably Tailwind. I might just pop a trick on here. What do I just attack? I mean, he's just going to go Tailwind. Um, honestly, you're not going to be able to KO me. You're not going to be able to KO me. I'm just going to go Expanded Force. You go Tailwind, you can use whatever you want. You are not going to be able to KO any of my Pokemon right here. So, I mean, go ahead. Go for Tailwind. That, that's fine by me. Just, just do it already. Get it over with. Get it over with. see what you're gonna do because I could I could pop trick room I could make make a read but right now where we're at it's more so like hey we outspeed right now so we might as well attack and if they want to pop that one that's fine but he's gonna withdraw annihilate we're going into expanded force which is really good it's gonna hit both these guys and Lucario's gonna come out here and that KOs Lucario correct it's gonna do a lot of damage to you Tailwind's gonna fly this could be a really good turn for us this could be a beautiful turn for us grass pledge can launch bop not very effective, but still, the damage is high. Expanded Force popping with Twisted Spoon. Later, Lucario. And now Wimscott is on one. So, Expanded Force will KO. It will KO Wimscott, which is good news. Um, Honestly, Venusaur still might outspeed Annihilate. There's a possibility of that. Let's check it. What's your speed? You got Focus Ash, which is gorgeous. Your speed's 132. You might still outspeed him. Um... I could just go for follow me if I want to, but I think our best bet is just dropping expanding force and going into Grass Punch again. Yeah, I like it. So Annihilate's gonna protect. That's totally fine. And what he turns into a 2v1? Light screen. Ooh. Trying to help yourself out with light screen. Grass Punch gonna get blocked, but now it turns into a 2v1. With light screen up though. Can't KO my Venusaur, so we're guaranteeing getting off a of grass punch, which is massive. And we're pretty much just going to win this game, right? I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Looking good right now. Looking real good. I mean, I think that was just like a last resort effort, and I, and I respect it. They're like, hey, we might as well try to set up Light Screen and soak up these shots. But they've just been sitting in a terrible position ever since my uh, Venusaur got on the field. Because they terrestrialized water. They now have no Terra. Venusaur is just posing a threat. He's going to go for double protect. He knows this game is over. I guess he's trying to waste out the sun. I don't really know. But Grass Pledge, Night Night, ooh, Light Screen helps him survive it. But I got Expanded Force. So, Indeedy, great call for us to bring in the back end. Really wants the game here with Expanded Force. GG to so our opponent. We start off 1-0. Moving on to match number 2, and match number 1 went perfectly. Venusaur and Charizard thriving out, doing big time damage. Indeedy coming in the back end, finishing the match off. We love it. But Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Primarina, three starters on their team. They're just one up in me here, because I got two starters. They got three. Big whoop. Big whoop. All right, fine. We, we can play that game. We can play that game. They got Indeedee. They also have Shadow, Tag, Gotham, Tell, and Torkoal. So we could honestly go Shrook Room side of this thing. Or I could just keep Sun out here and get some work done. What's my play here? I think we go with Jackpack Torkoal. Oh, I'm so bad at it. I'm so bad at it. We're going to go Torkoal. We're going to go Char-Char. Torkoal and Char-Char right off the rip. I'm so bad at it. We'll bring Venusaur. And last but not least, we got that Indeedee again. Or I can go Whimsy Whims. They don't really have too much speed. I mean, they could pop Trick Room. Which is why I kind of want to go in DD now. Because if they do pop Trick Room and we need to stop it, we can just pop Trick Room out of our own or we can just imprison it before they even do it. So, in DD, great Pokemon. I really like this male in DD here. It's just such a good Pokemon because it acts as that like, nice little support that can pop Trick Room or it can attack if need be. So, it's just really strong all around. Alright, so let's see who they're going to end up leading here. It's going to be Incineroar most likely. Gothitelle and Didi. Okay, so I mean, one fake out user. Torkoal is going to overheat and try to just KO this in Didi. So it's either you let my Charizard drop a heat wave in the sun or, or, or let my Torkoal overheat you down. It's your call. It's your call. It's your call. We have a fire tower here. Just might. I just might. Actually, not yet. Not yet. We'll just launch heat wave. So go ahead. Pick your poison. Who are you faking out here? Most likely my Charizard. 
Yeah, you weren't expecting to double fire. So I know you want to fake out and pop trick room. So go ahead, pick your poison here. Pick your poison. You want Charizard drop and Heat Wave? Or do you want Torkoal drop and OB? Both in the sun. Pick your poison. Don't be Water Terror. Did you just... Mm, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Okay, it's got to tell. That's, that's better. I'd rather have that than, than Indeedy. I thought it was going to be Indeedy Water Terror. So... I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Unless got the tells pop in Trick Room. I kind of forget if it learns it or not. Let's be honest here. Something's going on. Are you expanding forcing? Is it is this what you're doing? Getting out of hand. Heat wave's launching. Bye bye. Bye bye to you. Are you expanding forcing? Is that is that what you're doing? You do have expanding force. Charizard died. That's sad news. But Torkoal survives, which means Torkoal can get rid of this, this Gothitelle. All right, I'll take that trade all day. We don't get rid of you. We really didn't do that much damage to you. It's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand, but it's okay. I can bring out Venusaur here. I can bring out Venusaur. That, like, really, Heat Wave did that much more than Torkoal's overheat? Let's see. One, 177. Oh, wow, your special attack is actually real low. Okay, that makes sense. You're just a bulky turtle. You're just a bulky turtle. That makes sense. All right, cool. We'll go into you. And I have expanded force of my own. So, honestly, if this indeedy is... If this... In, what, what do you got? Oh, you got left arms. If this indeedy is uh, faster than it's got to tell, we can just take it out with expanded force, which is massive. So, I'm just going to go into my lovely indeedy. Like I said, this indeedy is awesome. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. So, we're going to go into it. We have Venusaur alongside of it. And, I mean, I can grab Splash, I can expand it for us. Let's see who they throw out. It's going to be Torque Skis. The Torque Skis comes out here. And I'm going to say that my Indeedy is faster than this Goth Tell, correct? Yeah, 161 all day. I don't even have to worry about it. So, I mean, honestly, I'm just going to put Torkoal to sleep. I'm going to say Night Night to Torkoal, and I'm going to pop this expanded Force across the board. Dropping it onto our opponents here. There's just no shot that this Goth Tell is faster. And they don't have to trick them up. So, yeah, dude, this Indeedy is like... Like, I put it out in two perfect situations. So, we'll say night-night to the Torkoal. Good night, little turtle. Good night, my turtle. I love turtles, man. Turtles are so cool. Like, in real life, they're so dope. Expanded Force gonna drop. Bye-bye, Indeedy. Or not Indeedy. Bye-bye, Gothitelle. And actually, we did an insane amount of damage to Torkoal. And we're pretty much set up to win this game now. Another Expanded Force. We could, uh, Sludge Bomb, Grass Punch, the other slot. And night-night. I love when they added that animation of Pokemon closing their eyes. I forget. It might have been Gen 6 when they added it, but I was, like, so astonished when they did that. Because you should just, like, keep the sprite, and they would just stand still. But finally, they added it, and I was like, whoa, that is actually really cool. So they could fake me out. They could go for a Flare Blitz. I still have... Oh, this is actually tough for me. I gotta go for a Sludge Bomb here to finish you off. And I gotta go Fighting Terror here with Ndidi. I have to. I have to. Because I can't hit it with anything else. So I need Ndidi here. This is just like so perfect. It's so good. It's so good. And they cancel match. Okay, they actually kind of had a shot. But I had that Terror, which was helping us out tremendously. Final match on its way. Looking for a perfect record. We're going up against no weather. Wimscott might have sunny day, but we, we like the sun. We like the sun. They also have Ndidi Arm Rouge, which we can deal with. We could definitely deal with. I mean, they could pop Trick Room, which could get a little scary. Do I go into my own Ndidi and predict that? I kind of want to. I'm going to go Ndidi. And I'm just going to go... Mm, I really want Sun with Charizard. You know, we're just going to go Torkoal and Charizard. And maybe just to check Pack out. I think that's our best bet. So I'm going to go into both of them. I'll bring my... Mm, I'm going to bring Ndidi and Ursaluna. We'll go, we'll go more of a Trick Room side this game. Because we kind of showcased this team really well. We used Venusaur, we used Charizard, and Didi's thriving out here on the attacking side. Did we use Whimsicott? I kind of forget if we use Whimsicott, but I mean, I expect us to use Whimsicott. And even if we don't, like, everybody knows what Whimsicott does. It's there just to pretty much set up Tailwind. Just get the speed going. Just get the speed going. But yeah, I think uh, going more of a Trick Room approach on this one is a little bit better for us. Because they're probably looking at our team like, hey, like they're really fast with the sun. We might want to get out Wimscott Pop Tailwind. And if they do, I mean, we'll just check Pack Rhetorical. Try to get that Trick Room going. Kind of just get after it that way. Might have to use our Terror type to be more defensive to try to pull off this combo. But we have to get off Trick Room if they do Pop Tailwind. If they do. 
Because again, we'll have Ursula in it and we will have Torkoal, which if I'm in the sun or not, if I'm in Trick Room, I should say, we're just going to be dominating. We're just going to be hitting them hard, outspeeding. It's just such a massive play. But who knows? We're 2-0, looking to go 3-0. I mean, we already guaranteed ourselves a winning record, so cannot complain here. No complaints from Jeans today. No complaints from Jeans, unless RNG does me absolutely dirty this match. <laughs> I'd be upset. But they're going to go into Wimscott Armors. Um, I don't see they... Kind of looks like they want to pop Trick Room. I know you got Flash Fire over there. I know you're ripping Flash Fire. But I'm going to go Overheat into that slot, and... I'm going to go Air Slash into this one. Maybe look for a flinch. Look to get off some damage. It is Solar Power boosted. It is going to be... Uh, what's it called boosted as well. Choice Spec boosted. And it is Stab, so... Air Slash looking pretty good. I, I know he's Flash Fire, for the most part. I mean... Obviously, you could be weak armor, but Flash Fire is just like the, the main combo here. Now, again, really curious. Are you popping Trick Room or are you popping Tailwind? I mean, you got two Pokemon that really you can do a lot with. You're going to go for an Indoor. I, I don't I don't mind that at all. You could be weak armor. You are weak armor. I could have went to my Heat Waves. How dare you? I could have went to my Heat Waves. How dare you? Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. There you go. Yeah, get a crit on yourself. Keep, keep critting yourself. Do, do a lot of damage. So he's going to be fast on the field. He's going to be doing insane amount of damage. Really scary damage. Really scary damage about to come out here. Really scary. So he's going to be plus two like on, uh, on special attack and plus four on speed. Air slash. You know what? Just get a crit here. You can do a lot of damage here. Bruh, you get a crit, but you don't KO! Oh no, you have Endure. Totally forgot. Totally forgot. So he's on one. He's sitting here on one. We get rid of you, we're gonna check pack out of here. Oh man. Armor's on one HP right now. We're gonna have to deal with this thing. I totally forgot to use Endure. I was like, no way we left it on one HP. So we check pack out. Your speed's flying. Trick room's a must. I'm gonna bring out the train. I'm going to bring out the train, but it's going to be so worth it if we can pop a Trick Room. If we pop a Trick Room, we win this game. I feel like if we pop, if we can get off the Trick Room, we can win this game. I could swap Charizard, but I'd rather use Charizard as a sacrifice here. Just Air Slash in a way. It's going to be brutal. Who are you going into here? Hopefully you go into Indeed of your own. Kind of sucks because they get first reads at us. Hmm. What you got here? Max Caliber. Oh man, this is gonna be brutal. I wish I had first turn. We go fighting terror? No, because you can get just go for expanding force here. We're going for trick room. I'll try to take out this arm rouge. Yeah, we lost. We're gonna lose this one. We're gonna lose this one. They were definitely gonna go into Indeedy, which would have been great for us. Miss this, miss this. Get loaded dice, I'm dead. Later. Later, indeed. Now we're just... Oh, it's brutal. It's brutal. Can I do anything here? Torkoal and... And Ursaluna. I mean, I got normal terror type. Huh. What's the play here? What's the play? Definitely Hyper Voice. Do I terrestrialize anybody? I mean, their terror types should just be fire normal, so just boost no dragon. Would that help us out? Not really. I mean, we gotta probably go normal here because of Icicle Spear. Yeah, I'm down for that. And then we'll just body press into the slot. But yeah, I just don't think it's looking good. I was sitting there, I was like, I was like, this this armor has got to be flash fire. And then I started beating up. I was like, oh no, it's weak armor. <laughs> Speed went through the we the uh, roof. Weakness policy popped. We're like, dude, it's it's not looking good for Gene here in match number three. Spanner Force launches. Who's soaking? N neither you guys. You just you just crit my Torkoal and take out my Ursaluna. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Hey, we don't get swept there. We take out that Wimscott. We go 2-1. and one, Grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. Absolutely love using the two starters from Kanto, Charizard, and Venusaur. Only wish we used Blastoids. I haven't used Blastoids in a while. Gotta get my hands on a Blastoids team. But Sun Team rocked out today. Went 2-1. and one, Winning record. Third and final match. Don't even want to talk about it. Arm Rouge, Expanded Force. Did me dirty. Went crazy on me. 
we'll take that L. But hey, again, 2-1 winning record. What more can you guys ask for? But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.